This is a short video to show two calibration methods on these RCERA helicopters. This here is the C-190 helicopter, which is a replica of the Airbus um, H-145 with a Fenestron simulation fan in the back. Beautiful helicopter. So to start, let's uh, load the battery. Turn on the transmitter and the helicopter. It goes into a flashing mode. This helicopter was recently introduced by RCERA. It has five blades, just like the real H145. It's a beautiful, beautiful model, really. LEDs are flashing when it's still not bound. When I bind it, it will go solid. This is the fan, which is a Fenestron simulation, which only means that it's a ducted fan and not a prop or a, sorry, tail blade, as they call it in the helicopter world, rotor blade. So let's uh, go ahead and start. First thing you do is you have to bind it. So it's bound now. All right, a lot of times, these helicopters can go out of uh, calibration, which means the board, the flight control board, this thing here, is in need of calibration to level it. Not all of these boards can be super level. As you can see, it, it's really, it moves. And sometimes when you crash or when you're handling it hard, these things move and it affects the calibration. There are two ways of calibrating um, this. The first method is the normal method, which is you basically hold down on this side and it, the lights flash and then it goes into solid and it's calibrated. I'll do it again. You have to make sure it's sitting on a level ground before you do this. That's one method, okay? The other method is what is referred to as the secret method because for the longest time, um, RCRA didn't really have anything showing how they do this. But most of these helicopters have a method of leveling the hovering. Leveling meaning that when it's hovering, it's going to basically stay hovered and it won't be drifting. That's different than trimming. You can trim it, but every time you trim it in flight, the trim will be reset to zero when you rebind with these helicopters. So that's just the way they are. This is the, the radio. It's a, you know, a standard radio, cheap. So the trim isn't, isn't remembered for, for this model. Anyways, um, so let's try that, okay? The other method, we just did the normal calibration, which was push it down and then it calibrates, okay? The other method is before you fly, you press this down and you hold it. You hold it. Okay, this, as you see, now it's in hover debugging mode which is an, you know, it, again, it's going to levelize the gyro board in here. So now you hover it with this thing flashing. Let's okay. hover. You take it up and you hold it, try to hold it very steady and trim as needed. So I'm trimming a little, it's going backwards. Let's trim forward a little bit. And to the left, more a little bit to the left. See, it's now hovering kind of steady. A little bit to the right. Now it's you got to be careful. Sometimes it has ground effect. Put it here. 
Let's go higher. Hopefully it's in the frame. Okay, let it, see it's kind of steady now. So before you land, before you land, you see it? It's, it's as steady as can be, maybe a little bit forward. I keep trimming it until it's rock steady. And then you basically hold this back down and it goes solid. Now you land it, now you land it. Once it's landed, you come here and you basically have to turn her off, turn the radio off, turn the radio back on, turn the helicopter back on, rebind, and it should be, now your gyro settings are set. So let's take it up now. There, rock steady and land. Okay, so we had this uh, calibration and then you had that other calibration where I press this down. I'll do it again. Press it down until it flashes. Right now, it's in debugging mode, which means you're going to reset the level and the trim internally to the gyro board. We take off. You take off as high as you can. And you basically set the trim to where you want it at this time. Go forward. And then when you're, when you're happy with it, you press it down and you land. Okay, once that's done, you have to go back and turn it off and turn the transmitter off. And that way you store it in the gyro. I hope this was helpful and I hope everything was in in frame because I'm using an iPhone here. But anyhow, just wanted to show this to everybody. This was actually called the secret method, which is no longer a secret. It's the debugging mode. Thank you.